Hey, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and today this is going to be another Borderlands 2 technique video. This is going to be how to cheat at the slot machines. Now, these slot machines are located in Sanctuary, which is pretty much the main city of Borderlands 2. And honestly, these slot machines are really dope. You can get some really amazing weapons out of these slot machines if you can get the three Marcuses. Marcus is the grand grand prize, so that's the one you want. And I've gotten some of the best guns that I have from just getting three Marcuses. So, you do want to probably try to get him. Now, the problem with this, though, as you may know, is that it requires money. So, you can only do this so much. And it's kind of a big bummer that it costs a lot of money to do it. So, the technique I'm going to show you is how to actually not use up money to play the slot machines. You can play these slot machines all you want. I'm showing you just right now the process of doing this. It won't I, I don't I'm not gonna get anything amazing out of doing it, but it, it can take quite a while. But this is something you can do when you're playing by yourself and you don't have your friends on and you just wanna sit around and bullshit and try to get an amazing gun in the process. Alright, so right here I'm full. So this will be my first time I'm gonna show you how to do it. As you may know I've used up quite a bit of money just attempting this. I haven't gotten anything amazing out of this first go. I really haven't got anything good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dashboard. Now once again this is another dashboard technique just like the item duping. But and, and once again if you're on the PS3 you can probably just turn off your console but once you dashboard that will not save the game. You will not save the game. Alright so right here I'm back on the game now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this load up and give this another go and see if I can get something good. So that's just the whole idea is that by dashboarding it will not save your game. So all the money that you spend, I mean you can go through all your money trying to get something amazing and not get anything. But if that happens, just dashboard. It's that simple. And if you get something good in the process of doing this, just quit and save the game. And if you do that, you'll keep your weapons and items that you got that you actually want to keep. But by dashboarding you won't actually it won't save so anything that you get in the process of dashboarding you won't save you gotta keep that in mind so if you get something decent you might want to consider picking it up and letting the game save alright so right here I'm attempting it I am attempting to get something good again like I said it's it's not that easy to get something good it's very rare to get the three Marcuses but if you can then why not oh crap grenade um, you gotta watch out for that these things can spit out grenades at you um, but yeah, like I said, you do definitely want the three Marcuses. If you can get that, that's where you'll get the best guns. Um, like, no joke. Now, I'm only level 16. You gotta keep that in mind. So, the gun I'm gonna get eventually here is not gonna be so great. And what is the fucking chances of that? Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> that is so... That's insane. Three, I mean, two grenades twice? What? Wow. Now one thing too, when you do this, you probably want to go ahead and bank a lot of your items and weapons and have a lot of free slots. Definitely if you have the money too, like if you have a decent amount of money, you definitely want to bank some stuff. Because you don't want to have too many items, otherwise you're going to run into the problem that I was having, which is, is that you're going to get full. And then you're going to have to drop some items to even continue to this process. Because you have to pick up the item that the slot machine spits at you. So if you're full, that's just the thing, it's going to suck. now. Like I said, most of the guns that you're going to get are not going to be that great. Some, it's They're all random, though, so you got to remember that. Like right here, like that gun's not good. Pretty much every gun I've gotten out of this has been okay. Some of them have been okay, but nothing fantastic. And, of course, you want the best out of the best. So, like I said, to, to acquire that, you really just need to get the Marcus. If you can get Marcus, that's amazing. Also, this is another great way to get Iridium. If you can get Iridium without actually, like, wasting all your money in the process just save it and then you'll have the iridium for upgrading your ammo capacity and your carrying capacity all that kind of good stuff so that's just the thing alright so right here um, I'm still going through the process like I said you have to pick it up now I don't think you can just go sell these weapons because that's not gonna that's not how it works I mean that is not how it works uh, what you're gonna have to do is just dashboard and all these weapons I'm getting I'm not gonna have but they're not that great so I don't really care and I'd rather keep the money and keep trying to get something fantastic in the process alright so I just dashboarded again 
And now this is going to be my final time attempting it, and hopefully I can get something good. All right. So right here, I'm just going to go run back one more time to see if I can get something. Um, and this is from an earlier, an earlier save when I was just recording doing this process. So I don't have as much money as I did before. But, alright, let's see if I can get something good. Nope. And let's see this time. It's all, it all just comes down to, like, if you, it's really luck, honestly. It's all about luck. Alright, now that's a pretty decent sniper, honestly, for my level. So that's actually not bad. Let's see what I can get now. Alright, three cherries. Normally, three cherries aren't great guns, but that's actually not bad, to be quite honest. That's actually not bad at all. Um, and I guess that, that that's good enough for me. So, you get the idea. You can keep doing this until you get either three Marcuses and a, or just a really good gun. And once you get a good gun... All you gotta do is just, um, I'm actually gonna shoot it a little bit here. But all you gotta do is, um, just normal save. Just quit the game and you'll save it. And then, just keep doing it until you get, you know, until you get the best stuff. So that's really the technique. It's very easy. It's very simple. Something you can do when you're playing by yourself. Obviously, you want to do this when you're playing by yourself. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. It can definitely help me out. And please subscribe for all Borderlands 2 content. And have a nice day.